Hi everybody. So this is going to be a little bit um, not even. I'm trying this out. I'm trying a few things out. First of all, thanks to Vinnie Ferrari for even suggesting this little device because uh, I I didn't have a camera for a bit, and this little baby really does the picture. Okay, here's a theme: courageous people and uncourageous people. People that have balls and people that don't have balls in the context of relationships. All right. First of all, I think somebody who is, let's say, 6 out of 10 on the attractiveness scale, if they're 9 out of 10 on the confidence scale, they're 6 out of 10 on the attractiveness scale, goes up another two points. That's the truth. I think somebody who is 9 out of 10 on the attractiveness scale, if they're 6 out of 10 on the confidence scale, their attractiveness goes down by like 3 points or more. People that are not confident are not attractive. When you are surrounded constantly by people who are not confident, that lack of confidence ends up rubbing off on you and you end up embodying the characteristics of the society in which you find yourself. I cannot tell you how many times I come across people that think they can rely upon their good looks to win them all the concessions in the world. In a crisis economy or in a condition of scarcity where there is not a lot to go around, you got to be able to use something else other than, let's say, your tramp ass or, you know, your flash haircut or your fancy duds or your fancy car. You've got to be able to use other skills in the arsenal, which includes a genuine sort of confidence. Genuine confidence. It oozes off people. It's thick, it's viscous, you can tell that it's the real deal. Sorry, I had to do a little dash there. I don't know how you learn something like that, but one thing's for sure, you can practice it every day. Walk erect, walk tall, talk low. Walk with a good posture and say what you mean all the time. Stop with this obfuscation. Stop escaping through text messages and emails. It's disgusting. That's my thought today on courage. Have it. There's only one way to go.